In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Eldari and the Adeptus Custodes Combat Patrol boxes. So this might be the final video of this series. I might add another video just talking about the Necron, the Space Marine, the Tyranids and the Adeptus Mechanicus Combat Patrol boxes just to round everything out and just to have everything in these videos, but I'm not 100% sure yet. As far as the video series goes, you can find all the links and playlists down in the pinned comment below. And if you enjoyed it, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up, a subscription and leaving a comment, all that good stuff that helps the channel out because uh, even though it might not look like a lot, it really does help a lot, especially for smaller channels. Now with the introduction out of the way, let's talk about the Adeptus Custodius Combo Patrol box. This one is a little bit controversial because not everyone agrees on whether it is a good box or not. Um, I can tell you it is a lot of fun to run in Combat Patrol, but whether it's a good box or not for your specific army, it, that's basically up for you to decide. So what are you getting in this particular box? You are getting a box of Custodian Guard. Here you have all the different options. You can assemble one of them as a Shield Captain, one of them with a Vexilla. You can just assemble all five of them if you wanted to as regular Custodian Guard, either with Shield or with Spear. You have all the options. It's a very versatile kit and a great kit to have in a combo patrol. And I hope if they replace this one or change this one up, that the Custodian Guard kit is going to find its way back into the new combo patrol as well. Then you have Virtus Praetors. These are your three bikes. Also a very, very popular unit for the Adeptus Custodes. Now it varies depending on the viability of the model, whether they are very strong and used a lot or not, but I think they look incredible on the tabletop and also on the pictures probably. And um, yeah, it's a great unit to have, also very bread and butter, and basically everyone has them who's playing Adeptus Custodes. And the unit that is probably most controversial is the Sisters of Silence. You're getting two boxes of them, so two squads of five. You can assemble them in different ways. You can assemble them as Vigilators, as Prosecutors, you can assemble them as Witch Seekers. You have different options, but they are not very popular because most of the people who are running Custodes are running them because, you know, because of the Adeptus Custodes, basically. And the Sisters of Silence do not get a lot of support. They basically just have the regular three kits that you can build out, to, out of the one box. And then you have a Rhino and a singular character, and that's that. So I'm hoping that at some point, the Sisters of Silence are going to get more support are going to get a little bit more fleshed out and that way the Adeptus Custodes are going to be a little bit more varied and more interesting. But that's probably something for 11th or 12th edition, to be completely honest. Now, with that said, basically the Custodian Guard and the Virtus Praetors are not controversial at all. They are great units. The only thing that you need to decide for yourself is whether you can see yourself running a few units or a couple of units of Sisters of Silence in your army, also later down the line, because otherwise... This box is not really worth it if we look at the savings in a little bit. When it comes to the points, this box is definitely well worth your money because you're getting 670 points. You could even push this up a little bit if you add another unit of basically Vigilators or Witch Seekers instead of Prosecutors for the Sisters of Silence. That way you get an additional 10 points out of your units. But overall, the points value is not the problem with this box at all. It's actually a very positive thing about this box. And now when we look at the savings though, we are looking at 34% across the board almost. And that is great as well. It's, it's not bad at all. So the only reason why this box is considered questionable or not that great is because of two units of Sisters of Silence, which apparently most Adeptus Custodius players just don't see themselves running. And I can understand that. But yeah, if you are looking forward to purchasing this or to um, start Adeptus Custodius from scratch, you need to consider whether you want to run these Sisters of Silence, whether you see this as future-proofing maybe. Maybe at some point they really do get a big update for the Sisters of Silence and at that point they are going to be very valuable. But as it stands, the Sisters of Silence are a very squishy unit that doesn't have a lot of additional belts and whistles, I guess. It's just a very standard toughness tree, three-up armor save, bolter unit or flamer unit or melee unit and that's basically it. Now, when it comes to running this particular box in combat patrol, you still need to make a choice between a custodian guard squad and the Virtus Praetors, but you're always running two separate squads of Sisters of Silence, namely one squad of Prosecutors and one squad of Vigilators. And that way, you are getting a little bit of objective control and you're also getting a little bit of additional infantry, as compared to, for example, the Grey Knights, which also they have to make a choice between a Nemesis Strat Knight and Terminators, but there you're really starved of units. Here the Sisters of Silence are kind of saving that a little bit. Now when it comes to the 
Custodian Guard or the Virtus Praetor choice. It really depends on the matchup and all that good stuff. So you have different options there. You don't just choose between different enhancements and so on, but you also choose between different units. And that is what makes this box kind of versatile and very fun to run in combat patrol. You can experiment around with it. And it is not something that most other combat patrols allow you to do. So I personally see that as a bonus. Now, when it comes to matchups, this box doesn't have any particular bad matchups. What I've noticed in my many, many test games is that if you are in a, at a tournament and you have to go with a fixed loadout and a fixed list and you chose against the Virtus Praetors, which is reasonable, you're going to definitely struggle against boxes like the Gene Selectables box because at that point you're going to struggle against any chaff and clearing chaff. So yeah, that is definitely something to consider. But other than that, I think this box is going to do fine against any other box. So yeah, would I recommend this box? I think it all just depends on the Sisters of Silence. Do you like them? Do you see yourself running them? Do you mind running two squads of them in a 2000 points list down the line? Because both of these units are 100 points at most. So just having them there is technically not that bad. A lot of people just don't like this box because of the Sisters of Silence. I can, as I said, understand that, but I don't think it's as horrible as some make it out to be. I think it's a really decent box with decent savings, a lot of points. And if you wanted to start Adeptus Custodius with this box, I would say go for it. Picking this one up multiple times, though, is questionable because you really don't need 20 Sisters of Silence unless you really, really like them. At that point, you can obviously run them. Um, having two boxes of Custodian Guard and Virtus Praetors is, is always really good. So those are not going to be a problem. Buying this twice is going to drown you a little bit in Sisters of Silence. That's the only thing that you need to consider. So the TLDR is basically, do you like Sisters of Silence or are they just not a problem for you? In that case, pick this one up. If you mind the Sisters of Silence, it is not the box for you to start with. And in that case, just buy yourself a box of Custodian Guard and slowly expand from there until the next Adeptus Custodius Codex arrives and inevitably a new combo patrol is going to get released. Maybe that one is going to be a little bit more up your alley and without Sisters of Silence. Who knows? And next up, we are going to be talking about the Eldari or Craftworld's combo patrol box. This one is a very popular box, not only because it is a box well worth purchasing because of many different reasons, but also because it was very popular in combo patrol tournaments whenever 10th edition started. The Eldari obviously had very strong rules and the box itself is also one of the strongest boxes out there in terms of models, in terms of list setup and rules basically as well. So what are you getting in this particular box? You are getting a Farsia as your character, which is one of the most basic character choices that you need if you want to run Eldari. Farsias have almost always been decent at least and you can always run them without thinking too hard about it. Um, if they are competitively viable or not, really depends, but usually Farsias are always rock solid. When it comes to your battle line, you are getting 11 Guardian Defenders, which is basically 10 Guardian Defenders and a heavy weapon platform. This is your basic battle line unit. They are not very tanky or anything, but they are doing the job. They are very quick. They have interesting stratagems that apply to them and the heavy weapon platform make them a little bit more diverse when it comes to the targets they can shoot at. So Guardian Defenders, while not being the strongest unit out there, definitely not. I think they are a solid battle line to have and at least having one unit of them in your repertoire is going to be useful because having a little bit of OC2 in your army is not bad at all. Next up, we have two boxes of Wind Raiders, uh, six models in total. These ones are going to probably get a lot more support once the Codex Eldari or Codex Craft World arrives because Saim Han is inevitably going to support these. So having six of them is... In my opinion, a little bit of future-proofing, but they are also great for just combat patrol. If you want to buy this box just in a vacuum, just assemble it, paint it, and use it for combat patrol, Wind Raiders are excellent. They give you a lot of flexibility on the battlefield. They are quick, they get a ton of rerolls, and they are just great at chaff clearing. And last but not least, one of my favorite models, the Wraith Lord. The Wraith Lord is a huge model at 160 points. You have a ton of different weapon options. You can equip it with either just a fist or a sword. And it's one of the coolest looking models. I personally really like Wraiths because, you know, I collect Yandan myself. So most of my Eldari models are just Wraiths. And next to looking cool, it is also a very durable model for combat patrol. It is great in melee, it is great at range, and it is going to do a lot of work no matter what's going on. And yeah, that basically concludes the list. I think it's a great list for combat patrol. You can run everything. You don't need to make any choices. And it is one of the most flexible and just great lists out there 
Um, and yeah, I can definitely understand why it initially won a ton of combo patrol tournaments because not only are the ro rules really good, but you're also getting fast moving units, you're getting solid battle line, you're getting a great character, and you're getting a bigger model that just does it all. Melee, range, all of it. When we look at the points, you're getting 510 points, which is just bang on average, which is exactly what we expect from a combo patrol. So yeah, there's really not much to say here. The kind of carry of this particular box is going to be the Wraith Lord at 160 points. The Wind Raiders are also totaling 160 points for both units, so six of them in total. Uh, the Guardian Defenders, a little bit expensive in my opinion. I hope they are going to see a points drop in a future update. And the Farseer is definitely fine at 80 points. And next up, we are going to look at the savings. The savings are looking more than solid. We're looking at savings between 38 and 41%. That is so much above average, in fact, that I think this is also one of the reasons why this box is just so dang popular. If you are starting out with Eldari and you don't have any models, this box basically gives you a good start for any craft world or anything really Eldari you want to do. You have a little bit of a Wraith in there for just, you know, the Iliandin flavoring. You're getting a couple of Wind Raiders, which are Saim Han. You're getting just Guardian Defenders, which are solid for any craft world. And the Fasi is obviously also useful for every craft world. So it is a great box for any craft world, for any start for the craft worlds and, or Eldari. And yeah, it's an all-around super solid box that I strongly recommend you pick up if you're interested in this faction, because I personally don't see the next box being better than this one. It is going to be very, very difficult for GW to improve upon this box, especially with the idea of less savings, ideally a little bit less models in the new box. So yeah, if you're interested in Eldari, this is definitely a recommendation from my side. Now, would I pick this one up twice? I'm not sure. Do you want to run 12 Wind Raiders? who knows having two units of guardian defenders because you can also assemble them as storm guardians is definitely not a bad idea having two farseers is also not unpopular and two wraith lords are also not bad so the only decision you have to make whether you want to pick this one up twice or not is whether you can see yourself running a ton of wind raiders if not just pick it up once uh, decide for a craft world or which type of eldari you like running maybe like aspect warriors maybe you like jet bikes maybe you like wraith units and then expand it from there, depending on your choice. And that is basically it for this combo patrol and for this video. If you have any other thoughts on any of these two boxes or any questions, please drop them down in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. And yeah, look forward to maybe another video of me talking about the current Tyranid, Space Marine, Edmac, and Necron combo patrols, just to quickly cover them. We have all of the combo patrols covered for now. Other than that, I'm obviously also going to upload more full-on, one-hour-long, specific, separate combo patrol reviews. So look out for that. And if you have any thoughts on any future videos, or if you want to see anything specific on the channel, please share that in the comments as well. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.